Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can code co-spaces to make your characters run around the screen from set point to set point just by clicking on whichever point that you want. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, create yourself a new scene and let's change the environment to a, uh, there we go, nice grassy environment and let's add ourselves a character. I'll just do casual boy. There you go. So the first thing we need to do here is we add casual boy and we need to add one of the one of the little pads that we're going to uh, we're going to walk to. You can use any object that you like. I'm just using a flat pad here. So there we go. And all we need to do here is we just go square and code. Make sure it's used in code. You can use it in code blocks and do the same in there we go, code, same for the casual boy, use in code blocks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to code it. Before we do that, we're going to use ourselves. Uh, I'm just going to use a little um, a little short stump for the moment. This is going to be a little placeholder that we use to tell our program where it is um, that our boy is running to. So we'll just put a short stump there. Don't worry, it doesn't really matter what you pick because later on we're going to hide it anyway. So but for the moment we'll just use that for a bit of debugging. Okay, so we've got boy, that, and the tree stump. And now, oh, short stump. Make sure that you can code your short stump as well. And then what we do is we go to code and code blocks and we create our first script. So the first script is nice and easy. All we say is, uh, there we go, where's, um, we're gonna say when the, um, when the square is clicked, we're going to move the short stump over there um, to that point. So here we go. So fence well, clicked. There we go. Change from casual boy. When the square is clicked, all we'll do is we'll move to this one here. Change that, move that, then move the short stump. And from here, the two position, what we do is we go position and we use the position of the square. There we are. Position of, oops, there you go. Move the short stump to the position of the square and we'll do that instantly in naught seconds. There we go. So if we just zoom out a bit, in fact, what I'll also do here, just move that over there a minute. Let's move that camera back so we can actually see what's going on. There we go. So now if we click play, there's our stump. If we click over there, it moves straight over there to our square. And that's all pretty much we've got to do. Um, however, as soon as we click that, what we also want to do is we want to animate the boy because we know if we've clicked somewhere, we're going to get him to run somewhere. So we'll set the animation of the boy to, uh, let's go run. There we go, good. So there we go, we've got one of our squares, which is there. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is I'm gonna move them, move all these bits into the middle of it actually, because they seem to be a bit over to the side. So you come over here a bit. There we go. And, well, that's why. Move the camera over there. There we go, that'll do. Now, what we'll also do here is now we will duplicate the square. So right click on square and duplicate. So now we've got two squares, um, we have another square there. And all we need to do here is right click and duplicate here and change everything from square to square one. So there you go, those two, good, excellent. And then we can do that, let's do that with four squares. So duplicate, there's another one. Duplicate square two, square two, and we'll do that one more time, just so it's the same as what I did in my original. Duplicate square three, square three, position of square three, there you go. Okay, good, sorted. So now if we click play, there we are, there's all my squares. And whichever square I click on, the boy starts running and the, there it is, there it is, good. 
the boy starts running and the uh, what's that thing the little stump thing moves good okay brilliant so that's half of it done all we need to do now is we create another script here and the second script is there you go, another code block script and this one is going to be a nice and simple one all it says is here um, first of all at the start of the game we'll move the um, We'll move the stump actually, we'll move the stump to where the boy is. So let's do that. Move the short stump to where the boy is, so position. Uh, move the stump to the position of boy, good. So they'll move right to the same place. I mean, I could have just dragged him there, but that'll do it for it. And now what we do is we do a simple little forever loop. And here we go, forever loop. So control forever and what we want to say now here's the clever bit we say okay if the position of the uh, there we go. if the position of the uh, stump is greater than uh, sorry, the, sorry no if the distance between those two is greater than one or two or something we move the boy to the stump if not, we're just stopping where it's at. So we need the position block and uh, we, found we don't need that, we need a distance, don't we? Distance between the casual boy and the stump. There we go. Let's move him back over there a bit. Uh, let's do greater than one. Make sure here you choose the greatest, greatest there. Casual boy and short stump, greater than one. If it is, then what we do is we turn the boy to face the stump. Uh, so turn towards, there you go, turn to look at. So turn the boy to look at the short stump and we'll just move him forwards. So move, uh, move him forwards to about, I don't know, a quarter of a meter. Let's try half a meter to start, let's see if that works. Uh, moving one, 0.5 meters forward over, let's say, at one second. There we go. And now, so if the distance is great, we move him a bit. Uh -huh. Otherwise, what we do is we stop him. So otherwise, we just go animation, any set animation of the casual boy to don't animate. Okay, so let's have a look. So here we go. Um, now if we click there, there you go. He runs over there. Is he moving? He's moving incredibly slowly. Okay, let's have a look at that. So what we'll do here is let's just change that camera. Let's change that to orbit, uh, fixed position. That's okay. So we can see what we're doing. So look, and we'll also move him up a bit. So we can, we'll turn him so he's facing down a bit. And there we are. Okay, let's have a look. So. There you go. And now the boy should be well, they don't seem to be running very quickly towards now. Let's change that. Uh, let's try that to 0.1 seconds. Do, do, do. Try again. There we go. So, and there it is. Brilliant. Now, as you can see here, he's not quite reached the uh, stump there. Um, he's sort of a little bit off. If you want it to be exactly on, then just change that number there. Let's go 0 0.1 or something. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. Also, I'll just move that stump as well. Uh, short stump, zero. There you go, so it moves instantly. There you go. That's better. And there we go. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. That's okay. Let's try 0 0.2 maybe. <laughs> There we go, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? It's been running around really funnily before. Okay, what's happening there? Let's just have a look. 
What's happening there is, it's because he's moving forward a little bit too fast, that 0.5 meters. Let's change that to 0.1 meters and change that to 0.02. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so it's moving a bit slower, but we can change that in a minute. But there you go, so now it works perfectly. Good, let's move him a little bit quicker. Let's go 0. If we'll do that 0 0.1, but we'll change this to 0 0.01. So it'll move every hundred for the second. There we go. Perfect. So there you go. Now you can obviously use this um, to make it as complicated as you like. Um, you can have it so he walks from, uh, say, outside each house. If you've got something happening in each location, you want to talk to a character. Or if you want to make a game, then all you need to do really is um, create maybe... 30, 40, 60 of those squares, uh, put them in a large grid, and then if you don't want it to be visible, then all you need to do is just click on the square um, and then just change their colour. So change it to a green colour. Uh, so look, will that work? Uh, and if I let's just cheat, what we'll do is we'll set the opacity to zero. And there now you can't actually see it. So if you had, if you filled the entire screen up with uh, those squares, one for each one of those little bits there, and then as soon as you're done, you just go to each square and hide it. Make sure that you've got all of these codes here, which would be loads of it. Uh, and there you go. That's a really hacky way of moving a player from position to position. Thank you very much. If you like the uh, channel, please do subscribe.